Okay, my name is Jay Scruggs. This is Higgy. This is our little sheep zoo. I'm just going to show you a quick trim on the head with thinning shears that we can do just to give them a little bit neater, um, more balanced appearance. So on the sheep zoos, normally their ears, as they grow out, they get to be kind of stringy and long. So you want to make sure instead of using a straight or a curved shear on these ears, I always use a thinning shear just because we get a more natural look. So normally if you cut the ears straight across, when you pick this ear up, you can see it's been done on him. You have this tuft of hair that sticks out in this area. So the first thing I typically do is I pick the ear up, I hold the ear out to the side, I use a 44 tooth thinning shear, and the first initial cut I make is straight across the bottom of this ear. So I'm not getting into the ear hair that will fall down in this area. I'm just getting into the back of the ear. So take that off first with a thinning shear. You can see how it makes it look more natural so it doesn't look as choppy or anything like that. So I take that off first. That way when I lay the ear down to go underneath my ear, I don't have any of this hair sticking out on the underside of the ear. So now at this point, I can come in from the front of the ear, just even if they just want them tipped, just to make it look natural and appear a little bit more subtle than a really straight or a blunt clip. So this thinning shear is just gonna soften that up. But if you don't take that piece off beforehand that's behind that ear, normally when they perk their ears up, that's the first thing that's gonna hang down that you're gonna see. So always take that piece off behind the ear because it's not part of your finish that you're gonna see from this side or part of your head piece. So I just take that, just take the ends off just to add a little bit of volume just to make it neater. So same thing on this side. I would just hold the ear straight out to the side this way. You can see how he has all this stuff that hangs down. It's okay, buddy. So all this stuff that hangs down, I go right into the side of the cheek just to take that off nice and tight. And then I'll put the ear back down, comb everything down. The finer the thinning shear that you use, this is a 44 tooth, the finer you use, the more of a natural cut you're gonna get. If you were to use like a 36 or 32 teeth, that's gonna be a little bit too aggressive. It's okay, buddy, it's okay. So I'm just gonna take that edge off. And I usually like to round it, even if it's a, depending on male or female, I kind of round the front of the ear up so they don't get it all in their food or water. And then what I'll do, one of the problems we have on the sheet zoos is all this hair, when they open their mouth, it kind of looks like an alligator mouth. Um, and especially on him, he's a good example of it. When I comb it forward, you can see this hair that attaches from the visor to the cheek. If you comb all of that forward in that cheek area and come from the side of your visor, or the side of your eyes and come straight down and blend that, you can either blend down into the cheek or if he's heavy, in the underjaw area, you can come up from underneath. But what that's gonna do, is gonna taper it down on the sides. And that way, when they do stick their jaw out, you don't have all this hair that's sticking out of place and makes their head look really wide. So from this side, I can come down. It's okay, buddy. And on this side, I can still comb it forward you can see from the corner of the eye, this stuff that comes down. So never take your clipper or your scissor and cut into the corner of this eye. Do it with a thinning shear and just thin straight down into that cheek just to make it tight. That will also give you a more pronounced muzzle. And then to check it, once you comb everything forward, it's okay, buddy you can see how the side of the head will start to blend in your cheek and you won't have this heaviness in the cheek area. So I'll just, just comb that forward. The top of his head has already been, he's already had some clipping done on the top of his head. So I'm just trying to blend this in so his head doesn't look so heavy. Um, on him, he's got a little eye staining. He's a little bit a little bit fidgety around his eyes, so I wouldn't go in and shave the whole muzzle. I'd just take in just the edge of the eyes where he's got that, the tearing going on. But 
the same thing on the bottom of this muzzle. When I come around from the cheeks into the bottom of this muzzle, I can be a little bit more aggressive with this is a 21 tooth blending shear just to take some length off real quick. And just that'll give him more of a pronounced look around his head. But once you do that with a more, an aggressive, more of an aggressive shear, always go back with your shear that we use that's gonna be more of a finishing shear just to blend it in. So I do the bottom first, right all the way to the Adam's apple. Then I'll comb everything forward, just round this off from one side of the muzzle to the other. And then to put it all together, <clears throat> I'm just gonna comb all this forward to put it all together and just taper from the front of my muzzle all the way into that corner piece that we set in on the side of the eyes here. Or the side of the cheeks. Just to give him that nice round face. So, but with the thinning shears um, around the sheet zoo face, because it's a drop coat, you're gonna get more of a natural look. So it's gonna be easier when they come back in to get a better finish. Also, where he's a little bit heavy in this area, he didn't want me to do this earlier, but I would take a thinning shear or not. Just, it's okay, buddy. So he's a little, he's a little, I'll do this off camera, but normally I would take a little thinning shear and just right here where he's kind of wet and irritated, um, just take the corners of that out. And then the only other thing I would do, like I say, part of his head, it's okay, buddy. Part of his head was already done, but I would do just the visor part. Instead of doing it with a straight or a curve, I would just clean it up right around the visor with a thinning shear just coming straight across just to blend everything together. So, anyway, that's my quick, quick tip for the Shih Tzu.